Breaking news right now in the Fern Avenue shooting that nearly killed an 11 year old boy. Our Matthew Torres joins us here in studio with the latest and you've learned Matthew just in the last few minutes that one of the women that police have been searching for was just arrested. Amy, that's right. All morning long we've been saying that four people in this shooting have been indicted for it. Police arrested two of them this week and have been lurking for two other women. Well, as of an hour ago, we've learned that one of them has just been booked in. Take a look at this mugshot. This is of 22 year old Vodra Jackson. Jackson, excuse me, she was booked into Metro Jail at 5.30 this morning. No word yet, though, on how she was found. She now joins Jamar Medeiros and Brandon Scott, who were arrested Tuesday on multiple counts of attempted first-degree murder, felony reckless endangerment, and violating the crooks with guns law. All of them have been indicted on the same charges. However, police are still searching for this woman right here, that is Portia Medeiros, who remains at large this morning. All four are connected to the shooting of Keon Malone on Fern Avenue back in March. Police say Portia Medeiros called both men to her place because of a fight with the neighbor. That is where bullets started flying throughout the street, hitting the 11 year old boy in the head and leaving him in critical condition. Again, one of the two women that police have been searching for since the uh, indictments have been arrested. She now remains in jail this morning as of Malone's condition. At last check, he was in stable condition. If you find Portia, uh, if you know her whereabouts, call police immediately. That number is 615 7 for crime.